12-year-old Texas girl dies after parents used smoothies to treat life-threatening injuries. NBC New. S. A 12-year-old Texas girl died Monday after her mother and stepfather failed to seek medical attention. And for four days following life-threatening injuries, instead attempting to nurse her back to health. With smoothies, authorities said. Below are your comments. There is no common sense test required to have children. Parents are obviously hiding something. Either they cause the injuries or drugs present or house is a disaster. I can understand law enforcement not releasing all information until obtained. That poor little girl. It said they had her on a pallet on the floor and investigators think they didn't want law enforcement. NT coming to their house. That makes it sound like their house is largely uninhabitable with little to no furniture. Or worse. The actions taken by the parents indicates they were not acting in the best interests of the child. Instead, they took actions to try to hide the condition of their child, did not want M's or law info. R cement on their premises and did not ask anyone to help them assess their child's injuries. I am familiar with Christine, Texas. A rural community about 8 to 10 miles south of the nearest hospital in Jordanton or Pleasanton. The children attend school in Jordanton. Jordanton has a population of almost 5,000. The school is one of the best small schools south of San Antonio. Christine has always been home to economically disadvantaged citizens. But the kids do well in school and most move on jobs in farming, cattle raising or oil production. God bless this young girl. The sheriff there is good man and will exhaust his resources to determine what or who caused the INJ. Yuri's, if negligence was involved or foul play. Atascosa County people, the churches and the communities have responded as one in times like this. I hope they once again step up to make arrangements for this child. Until the sheriff makes a report the parents will be suspects and kept at arm's length. I'm left wondering how the life-threatening injuries occurred in the first place. Not something that just happens spontaneously. Unfortunately, authorities were called to their home for injuries to 12-year-old Miranda on 3OT. Her occasions. CPS were involved. Miranda suffered within the very place she should have found refuge, comfort and pee. Revision. A time of sorrow. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.